Hey guys, how the hell are you? Today we have an interesting video for you. We're going to shoot it over the course of the next few days. We are going to be talking about parts from FU Tone, formerly known as Floyd Upgrades, but now currently known as FU Tone. I wonder if there's a little tongue in cheek joke there. But I've got a bunch of parts here that Adam sent me recently to put onto this guitar. My Framus Pantera 2 Custom Shop model. One of the custom things on this is that I really did want an instrument that had a Floyd Rose on it. But at the same time, I definitely want to upgrade a few of the parts on there. Uh, namely, I wanted to add the noiseless springs as well as I wanted to upgrade a bunch of the screws. But Adam also insisted that I get a new block for the trim. That's one of those things that I'm a little skeptical on about how much of a difference does it really make. Like for the titanium screws, a case can definitely be made that, well, obviously the screws are more durable. You're not gonna round them out like you would the conventional screws that come on a Floyd Rose trim. So they're going to last longer. Obviously, titanium screws are a significant upgrade. Noiseless springs, I've had experience with in the past with cheap noiseless springs, but I wanted to try out these to see if they're any better. But a bigger block for the trim, I'm a little skeptical on of whether or not it is actually going to make a difference in tone. So that is what the purpose of this video is. As you can see, I've got the big brass block right here from FU Tone. It is the same size that is currently on the trim. And as you can see, I have not installed it yet. The time is now 2.08 p.m. on Monday, July 22nd. And the reason why I am showing you the time that this video right now is currently being recorded is because you're about to see some footage of me playing a collection of riffs that I wrote for this video. And I also show you the time stamp on that as well. So that, that way you can see that a portion of it was recorded before these upgrades were installed. And then in the next day or so, I'm going to shoot additional footage showing you how the thing sounds playing the exact same collection of riffs but after all of these parts have been installed, so you can make a judgment for yourself whether or not it makes any sort of tonal difference whatsoever. For the purposes of the video, I'm also going to be using the exact same set of strings too, so that that way there's no trickery with that, no fresh set that's getting put on just for one portion of the video or anything like that. We just want to keep this as unbiased as possible so that we can get the best results from this little experiment as possible. So without further ado, let the riffage commence.
Okay guys, so as you can see, the time is now about 5.04 on Wednesday, July 24th. We just wrapped up filming the after portion of this video so that we could see what sort of tonal difference we're taking a look at here. First, let's recap the upgrades that we did to this guitar. So we upgraded the hex screws on the locking nut clamps as well as the intonation screws and the saddle screws on the bridge itself. We upgraded the springs to noiseless springs as well as we added on a 37 millimeter big brass block onto the trim itself which is the same size as the stock block that was on there but as you can see from the photos substantially more mass on that sucker it's got a bit more heft to it taking a listen to the tracks first of all let me state that there is nothing done to affect the tone of those tracks with the exception of the upgrades that were done to the guitar so there is no post eq there is no like harmonic enhancers there's no compressors added or anything like that the only plugins that are on the track are, first of all, a noise gate to just cut down on a little bit of the uh, hum, and the two notes torpedo wall of sound, which acted as my cabinet emulator. And I used the exact same preset with no changes whatsoever for both tracks. Besides that, the settings on the high watt custom super high 50 remained 100% the same. No changes done whatsoever to that. Nothing else was added to the chain either. It was pretty much guitar straight into a tuner and a noise gate and then straight into the head. So taking a listen to the results, I think that the results are just kind of very, very supportive of the fact that there is a significant tonal difference from the stock bridge to the upgraded with the additional parts. I feel that the upgraded riffage sounds more intense, has a lot more oomph to it, definitely more sustain, and to say that that is definitely more of a difference than I was expecting is a very much an understatement. So yeah, FU Tone, Adam, I think you and everyone that you work with did a fantastic job. I think these products are definitely a benefit to us guitar players that like to use these bridge systems and yeah i i definitely look forward to adding on big brass blocks whenever i purchase instruments that have floyds now i think that that's only going to serve to improve the instruments in terms of the tone and yeah this i mean i i know it sounds like i'm rambling but I was not expecting it to be this good, and I'm very, very happy I was proven otherwise. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so it's that time. Let's go to the beer fridge and see what I'm going to drink today. Okay, so today from Legal Remedy Brewing Company, we are going to have their World Court Mocha Blonde Stout. It is a 6% alcohol by volume brew. And yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out. I actually really, really like blonde stouts. Pours extremely blonde. That is very, very light and golden in color. Doesn't that just look tasty? Mmm. Smells of coffee. Mmm. Kind of a bit of vanilla cream in there, maybe just a slight hint of coconut. Definitely malty. Definitely sweet. Um, crisper than you typically expect from uh, a stout, um, but a little bit crisp, a little bit, um, a little bit refreshing actually. This is this is a pretty damn tasty brew. So that's it for me. Leave a comment in the comment section below, like this video, subscribe to this channel, find me all over the place. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitch. Um, much more content to come and please take a look at some of my previous videos.